What's up guys, how you doing? Welcome to another video. So today we are talking about basketball. We're talking about shooting positions. I thought I would share with you my favorite shooting positions for basketball. Why I choose them, the type of images I find I can get from those spots and why I think they're the best spots. I think this is gonna be a great video. If you guys are excited to learn about this topic, do me one favor, hit that like button because it helps me out loads with my video and I really, really appreciate it. Whilst you're down there, you might wanna think about subscribing. The subscribe button's right there. Loads of other videos to come on my channel, which I think you might enjoy. If you'd like to see loads of basketball photos from the kind of positions I'm talking about today, go check me out on Instagram, at Rob Samble Sport, or also a Surrey Scorchers specific channel that I run, at Scorchers Photog. That's where almost all my basketball photos are. You can go see them, so you can kind of see those are the type of photos you get from choosing shooting positions like these. So look, without messing, let's get into it right. Now, for shooting basketball, there are really two main positions that I like to shoot from. Now, one of those positions is a little bit of a trick position because you can get two different types of photo from that same position. But my first position is kind of my go-to. So if someone said to me, what's the one position? You've got to pick one spot and you've got to stay there for the entire game. This is where I would choose. And that is on the baseline, pretty much level with where the three point line comes in and joins the baseline. Right there, that's where I like to sit. Obviously not, not right there. <laughs> If you sit right there, you're going to be in the way and refs are going to get pretty mad with you. But a few feet back from that level with that spot, that is my number one favourite position. So why do I choose there? Well, there's a few different reasons. First of all, I tend to find that that's a great place for general game action. You get a real good view across the court. From where you're sitting in that position, you can see down court, you can see nicely across the lane and the three-point area, and you can also see into the far corner as well. I find that to be a really great spot to sit to give yourself a general view of the court. Now, of course, when I say joining up with the baseline and the three-point line, of course, there's two sides you could go, either side of the basket, but I tend to go over to the right-hand side, and by that I mean with the basket to my left. The reason I do that is because most players, of course not all, but the majority of players are right-handed. And that means that when they drive to the basket, they tend to open up their bodies with their right hand out. Same with the dunk, they tend to go up right-handed with their body open. And when that happens, you get a situation where their body is open towards you. Of course, every now and again, you get someone who's left-handed and, and then their body is away from the camera. But actually, I find if I go the other side with the majority of players being right, handed I get more of those shots than less so of course it's a bit of a gamble look if you sit there and the star player who's scoring all the points is left-handed then this theory goes out the window but generally speaking most players are right-handed and I find I get more players faces aiming at my shot bodies open towards my shot and those are all things that go together to make a great sports photograph Second reason I choose this spot is because I find it's a good place to not have referees in your way too much. Now, any of you guys who are familiar with basketball, you tend to have three referees and they move around the action kind of in a triangle. Now, when the action is at your end of the court, one of the referees will be kind of at the sideline in front of the bench and one of them will run round past in front of you and go by the basket or a little bit out from the basket. I find if I go any further left than that shooting position that I'm talking about, I then tend to be sat in the position where the referee comes and stands right in front of you and it makes it much much harder to get your shot now of course wherever you sit the refs are going to run across in front of you but I find in that particular position they don't tend to stop in that area so I still get a clean view of the court once they've come past third reason why I like to sit out there at that point is because I find I'm far enough out that you can get a little bit of the rim kind of peeking out past the backboard and I like for a lot of the action shots to be able to see the front of the rim in the photo for me it kind of gives the context of, of what's going on of course we know it's basketball you know we know that's what they're to do but at the same time if I've got a photo of like a layup or a, a dunk I like to get the rim and the basket in that photo too because it really gives the you know the detail of exactly what is going on it's no longer a photo of a guy 
flying through the air, it's a photo of a guy dunking that ball in that basket. And so I find from that position, you get a real good chance of getting the player and the front of the rim in the same shot. Fourth and final reason why I like that position is because it's right near the bench. And so if you're sat there, a lot of times the bench is right next to you, or at least one of the benches. And in that position, you get loads of good shots. You get players on the bench celebrating. You get the coach shouting at the ref. You get the coach celebrating. Sometimes you get the coach shouting at his own players. But you can get loads of cool shots of the bench and the coach from that position. And that's another reason why it's one of my favorites. Okay, moving into my other favorite shooting position. And that is actually in the same place with the basket to my left, out on that baseline, but right the way down so I'm literally squashed up right next to the basket. As I said earlier, I find anywhere in between those two places you tend to get refs standing in front of you all the time. So I either go out there to the right or right into the left by the basket. Two main reasons why I like this shooting position. First of all, you are sat right there under the basket, which means almost all the action is coming towards you. If players are driving to the basket, they're coming right at you because you're sat right near the basket. If players are shooting the ball, they tend to be facing you again because you're sat right by the basket they're shooting at. If players are dribbling the ball and trying to beat their defender, chances are they've come in towards you, they're facing you again because you're sat right there by the basket. And also it gives you a real good opportunity to better see all the way across the court. Of course, you can see straight up the middle of the court, straight down the lane. You can see out to the right, out to the left, real good court vision from there. Great position to be able to get all of the action. Now, the other big reason why I love this spot is because it is a great opportunity for wide angle photos. You can get some awesome wide angle shots, especially if you bring your camera down a bit lower, kind of looking up towards that basket. There's such a fantastic opportunity for really wide angle like epic action shots and I love that look I've captured some of my favorite basketball photos from that exact same position Okay, and I suppose my kind of third and final position is to say don't have to stick to a position. And by that I mean during the actual game action periods, generally speaking, you have to pick your spot and you have to stay there. Most venues won't like you moving around on the baseline during actual played action. But outside of that, don't be afraid to get up and move around a little bit. Timeouts, warm ups, you find opportunities to get different shots from different angles that you won't be able to get during the game. Now, of course, depending on the level of access you have, I'm very lucky when I shoot with Surrey Scorchers, I can actually get right in there, like around their huddles during timeouts, stuff like that, and you get some lovely shots. But whatever your level of access is, during that period of time, it's the chance to experiment with angles, get some different bits that you would not be able to get during the actual game action. So that's my third position, is to say, don't stick to a position, move around, try different angles, try something different, and see what works for you. And that's about it guys, that is a summary of my favourite shooting positions for basketball. I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, do me a favour, hit that like button on the video because it helps me out, it helps my channel and I really appreciate it. Think about subscribing if you haven't already. Guys, thank you very much and I will see you on the next video.